Hey y'all, uh, so today is bunny video number six. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. Again, using this little wooden bunny. Uh, and I've used this technique um, on Easter eggs several years back. But today I'm going to use this technique on the bunny. So anyway, let's just go ahead and get started. So the supplies that I'm going to use in today's video, of course, is the little wooden bunny, some Eastery and napkins, a little bunny tail, a little white pom-pom, uh, some accents for the little, um, for the little ear, some acrylic paint, some glitter, some Mod Podge, now, I've done this technique on an Easter egg, like I told you before, and it kind of ends up looking like this, all sparkly and pretty with that pattern of the napkin kind of in the background. Uh, but it's going to be so cute on the bunny. Now, I'm only going to, I think, I think, not sure, but I think I'm only going to have that glitter on the front. But we shall see. Sometimes I change my mind right in the middle of a craft. So anyway, first thing I'm going to do is paint the bunny all the way around in um, this white paint right here. Okay, so the bunny's all dry and I did put three coats of paint on this, lightly sanding between each coat of paint so I have a nice smooth um, finish there to work on. Then I'm gonna take my napkin and I like to just uh, open them up. And usually there is a, you know, the nice pretty pattern side. And then there's a, like a second layer here that's just white. And I'm going to separate those two layers like this. And we do not need the, just the plain white um, section of it. Now we just got the colored part, the pattern part, and I'm just going to just rip it up into different sizes. There's no right or wrong to this. Just whatever happens, happens. And I kind of try to uh, kind of tear the, the straight edges because sometimes those straight edges kind of, uh, you know, they stick right out at you because you know, saying, look here, there's a straight piece. And so I really don't want the straight pieces on there. You can leave them if you want. That's just me. So I'm just gonna kind of tear around them and use the center part. So what we're going to do is put Mod Podge on this little bunny. And that's gonna hold our napkins in place. And then we'll uh, Mod Podge right over the top of them as well. And I'll probably uh, go down the sides um, of this little guy as well. So I'm just gonna show you a little section and then it'll probably be in fast motion. <laughs> so you don't have to watch the whole thing, we'll see. Okay, so I've covered some of that in the Mod Podge and I'm just going to uh, lay my tissue down and uh, Mod Podge right over it. And you can see our little decoupage bunny already starting to take shape here. It's gonna be so adorbs. As you can see um, what I'm doing, just keep putting that deck of uh, the paper on the napkin and going over it until all of the front of the bunny is done and the sides of the bunny are done. And then I will let that dry and then we can do the other side. Okay, so it's drying up very nice. Still a little um, wet, but it's good enough for me to turn over and start working on the other side. And I'm going to do the same thing on this side that I did to the other one. So I probably won't film this whole thing. So you won't have to watch that all again. All right, so now I'm just going to let this dry. And then we're ready to put on the glitter. Okay, so our little bunny is now ready for some more Mod Podge and then glitter. And you're probably wondering, Lita, why didn't you just sprinkle the glitter on it the first time when it was wet? Well, then I can't, you know, make sure everything is sealed properly and everything is down like it's supposed to be. 
So maybe that's the longer way to do it, but I just feel better knowing that underneath the glitter, my project still looks good. That's just me. Anyway, <laughs> so on uh, the uh, Mod Podge goes, and I'm just going to do the front side and the sides. I'm not gonna do the back. Um, there's really no need, because this is gonna be probably propped up against something, and you're not gonna be able to see it anyway. So I'm gonna go ahead and just do the front and sides. I probably should have done the side first, but you know, that's all right. We'll just do it this way. And then, uh, then we'll just be looking at our beautiful little sparkly bunny. <laughs> I can't wait to see it all done. Okay, let's go ahead and put the, the glitter on. Now this is just a glitter crystal. I love a glitter crystal so pretty when the project is done. Now this will, again, you know, the Mod Podge will dry clear and you will just see all the glitter and faintly see the uh, napkins behind the glitter. Ooh. All right, so let's just take some of that excess off there. There we go. Oh, you can kind of see already what it's gonna look like. So we'll just let this dry. Or I might just go ahead and do the sides. Yep, yeah, that's what I should do. Just go ahead and do the sides while I'm at it, huh? All right, awesome. Now we just need to let this little bunny dry. Okay, so here's the little bunny, the glitter is all dry, so I took it outside. I didn't film this part, uh, but I took it outside and I just sprayed a sealer on it. That way, the glitter doesn't come off. Now, if you do not have a sealer, you can go over this glitter with Mod Podge, and it's gonna work just as fine and be just as beautiful. So, you know, whatever you have, and, and this was just a little bit quicker to dry. Uh, so now we're gonna go ahead and do all the little fun part, the little embellishments. I'm gonna glue on his little bunny tail. go that's a little bow tie now the little uh, I mean the little bow I just tied a bow in the pink raffia all I did there and just brings out the pink and all the uh, little colors of the bunny all the pink colors kind of pop when you put this on See how adorable? okay and then just these little orange a little orange and a little yellow flower Kind of brings out the orange and yellow of the little bunny. There we go. And this little bunny is all ready to join my little tie-dye bunny. And I'll show you all three of them together um, on that last uh, video that I do. So anyway, so cute. I just love it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I appreciate you watching. I'll see you again next time. Bye now.